these questions. I'm going to work through them and the work here is supposed to help you in answering the questions in the assignment on ratio and proportion. All right, so here goes. Three investors, A, B, and C, are to share a sum of $510,000 in the ratio 7 to 6 to 4. Calculate the sum of money received by each. All right, so here we have three investors, A, B, and C. The sum of money is $510,000 and the ratio is 7 to 6 to 4. You want to calculate the amount. So you want to know what is the total money. Now here you have a certain number of parts that this money is divided into. The number of parts will be 7 plus 6 plus 4. The total parts 7 and 6. 6 and 4 is 10 and 7. 17. 17 parts. Total. Total of 17 parts. Now, you can cut the 510,000 into seven into these 17 parts all right so and then after that when you know the size of each part you can multiply that by seven to get a's portion by six to get b's portion by four to get c's portion because remember it says seven six and four uh the amount received in the ratio that respectively I should have respectively here respectively means in the same order that they were mentioned all right so if i put I -V -E -L -Y, respectively there means in the same order that you mentioned them so a would get the 7 part, B would get the 6, C would get the 4. Alright, so 510 divided by 17, what is that? Five, 510,000 over 17. Mm. 17, if you have 17 times 3, 3 7 is 21, bring down the 1, carry 2, 3, 1, 3, 4, 5. Ah, good. 17 into 17 goes 1 times 17 into, 17 into 51 goes 3 times and then you have the 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So what you have is 30,000, right? So each part equals $30,000. Right, thirty thousand dollars. So that if you multiply thirty thousand by seventeen, you should get back all right thirty thousand times seventeen you get back five hundred and ten thousand. Good. Alright. So what you have now <coughs> is that A A would get what? A would get 7 multiplied by the $30,000, which is what? 7 trees, 21, 21, and 4 zeros. So A would get $210,000. <clears> right? How much would B get? B gets. That's a six part six times thirty thousand dollars. So that would be what? Six trees eighteen. So one hundred and eighty thousand dollars B would get. What about C? 
C gets four times thirty thousand dollars. So that would be four trees twelve, and then you have the four zeros, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. All right. So that's what you have. All right, and they should all add up back to five hundred and ten thousand. You could check and see two ten thousand plus one eighty thousand plus one twenty thousand if you add them up you get zero 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 eight and two ten and one eleven eleven bring one carry one two and one three and one four one five five hundred and ten thousand dollars all right so this shows how much each person gets a gets two ten thousand B gets one eighty thousand, C gets one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Let's look at the other part of the question. Let's just erase the working here and look at the other part of the question. Two. Three ingredients, A, B, and C, are to be mixed in the ratio 1 to 5 to 6, respectively. If only 70 ounces of C are available, how many ounces of A and B should be mixed with C in a, to maintain the same ratio? Alright, <clears throat> so what you have here is... Uh, Mm. 1 to 5 to 6 only 70 ounces of C are available so 70 ounces are available here and you need to maintain that ratio so let's see what happens here what you can do is find how many ounces each part measure all right the total number of parts is six and five eleven and one twelve but the thing is only c the six part that you're dealing with so what you do is divide 70 by six to see the size of each part when you get the size of each part you know there are five of them each in the five portion and there's one of them in the one portion so let's see what happens here now the size of each part you have one part for a five parts for b six parts for c you want the size of each part in ounces. So you have 70 divided by 6 will be the size of each part in ounces. What's 70 divided by 6? What do you get here? 70 over 6 is... Uh, hold on. Why is my calculator not showing up? I'm trying to show up my calculator. But it's not showing up at all. Where's my calculator? Alright. So. What happened to my calculator? Alright. There's my calculator. 70. Over 6 gives you what? 11.667. 11 and uh, this is what? 2 third. Alright. Call it 11.667. Oh, what happens there? What happened there? So, 11.6. The 6 keeps repeating itself. What I do is put a dot over the 6 to show that the 6 keeps going and going and going. Alright. Now, here, that's the size of each part. 11.6 ounces. 
So the five part now. The size of of A is going to be one times eleven point six ohms. Alright? So that's just eleven point six ohms. So the amount that you're going to have the amount that you the amount of A you're going to put in as the ingredient. The amount of ingredient A will be 7.6 ounces. Let me rewrite the ounce better than it looks here. 11.6 OZ for ounce. Alright. Size of B or the amount. You could say the amount of because it's saying ounce. So I could say the amount of A. The amount of B. So in this case, only 70 ounces of C is left. But you have a lot of A's and B's to choose from. So the amount of B would be 5 times 11.6, which is 5 multiplied by 11.6. My calculator. I don't know what happened to my calculator. It's just not showing up when I want it to. My my. All right. So, if I multiply this by five, I get fifty-eight point three ounces. Fifty-eight point three ounces. Where did that line come from? Fifty-eight point three ounces. So, there you have it. The amount of C left is 70 ounces. So, you're going to mix 11.6 ounces of A and you mix 58.3 ounces of B along with the 70 ounces. The total ounces that you would have after you mix everything together would be what? trying to show my calculator up again I'm having a problem with my calculator for some reason or another but there's a calculator here that I could use calculator although using this calculator kind of slow down everything but anyway what to do we have if we add them up 70 plus 11.6 plus 58.3 will give us 139.9 call it 170 170 ounces total 140 I mean where did 170 from 140 call it 140 ounces total Right, so close this calculator off. Get rid of this calculator. So it's total is one hundred and forty ounces of whatever you're mixing. All right, so that is that for that question. Let's see what else we have here. We have a question three and four left. Let's deal with that in another video. So I'll see you.